Hello everyone, we are on this side. So today hand we are dealing with a topic called as chemistry of water. Okay, deal with. Now, starting. So basically we are dealing with the introductory portion first. Here, water is unique, ubiquitous substance. So ultimately, like the meaning of the ubiquitous is which is found everywhere. Water is unique, ubiquitous substance. that is a major component of that is a major component of all living things water is the major component of all living things and it continues to engage it continues to engage the attention of the scientist the attention of the scientist okay now so basically some of the water's unique properties are some of the water's unique properties are literally essential for life some of the water's unique properties are literally essential for the life so let's get started now here basically the molecular weight of water is 18 the molecular weight of water is 18 here like if you will be dealing like the chemical structure of water it's none other than h2o so basically like the uh, the molecular weight of hydrogen is 1 and here we are having like the two hydrogen molecules so we'll be dealing two hydrogen atoms so we'll be dealing with like the 1 plus 1 is 2 and the oxygen's molecular weight is 16 so 18 plus uh, 16 plus 2 will be 18 now with the density of the water so the density of the water molecule is the density of the water molecule is almost equal to 1 for being a biologist i'll be directly going for it is the only one okay now the boiling point as we all know that the boiling point of water is 100 degree c as we all know like the boiling point of the water is 100 degree c but still like here they have written about like the 373 kelvin because like ultimately like 0 degree c will be equal to 273 kelvin that is the reason okay deal with now a specific heat the basically the specific heat is the amount of the heat required to increase the temperature of the body by 1 degree so here like the specific heat they have written as a 418 kilojoule okay deal with now heat of vaporization so basically like the heat of vaporization of the water molecule is 2.3 kilojoule is 2.3 kilojoule deal with okay now the surface tension if i have to deal with the so the surface tension of the water molecule will be 72.8 72.8 and the viscosity if i'll be dealing it is 1002 pascal 1002 pascal okay deal with now dealing with the structure of the water here if you will be observing if you will be observing this is the proper structure of one single water molecule this is the proper structure of one single water molecule and like uh, as we can observe here like this is the oxygen and these two are the hydrogen atoms okay deal with now like uh, i'll be directly going for like the bond present between the hydrogen and the oxygen is called as a covalent bond the bond present between the hydrogen and the oxygen is called as a covalent bond whereas the bond present between the hydrogen and the hydrogen of two different molecules is called as hydrogen bond It's called as hydrogen bond. Here, the geometry of water molecule basically the geometry of water molecule has two oxygen. The geometry of the water molecule has two oxygen hydrogen bonds. They are having the length of zero point zero nine six nanometer. You can observe it here. You can observe it here. Like the length is zero point zero nine six nanometer. Okay, deal with. Now. the bond angle the bond angle between the oxygen and the hydrogen is 104.5 degrees the bond angle between the hydrogen and the oxygen will be 104.5 degrees and if two water molecules are brought together of because of the force of attraction will form and they will be developing a hydrogen bond and if i'll be telling you if i'll be telling you that uh, the total length of the water molecule the complete length of the water molecule is it is 0.32 nanometer it is 0.32 nanometer okay one another important point 
वॉटर इज बेसिकली इलेक्ट्रिकली न्यूट्रल वॉटर इज इलेक्ट्रिकली न्यूट्रल सो यू कैन डील विद दो थिंग्स एज वेल हियर द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ एटम्स पर्शियल चार्ज इज द मेजर पोलैरिटी एंड अल्टीमेटली इन द इन केस ऑफ द वॉटर मॉलिक्यूल इन केस ऑफ द वॉटर मॉलिक्यूल हियर द पॉइंट फाइव प्लस पॉइंट फाइव चार्ज ऑफ हाइड्रोजन वेयर एज इन कॉन्ट्रास्ट ऑक्सीजन इज हैविंग माइनस वन चार्ज इफ यू कैन ऑब्जर्व दिस इज द पोलार स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द वॉटर मॉलिक्यूल दिस इज द पोलार स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द वॉटर मॉलिक्यूल विच इज हैविंग डाई हाइड्रोजन मोनो ऑक्साइड केमिकल नेम द केमिकल नेम ऑफ वॉटर इज डाई हाइड्रोजन मोनो ऑक्साइड ओके डेल सो यर वन हाइड्रोजन आइटम इज यर हैविंग प्लस पॉइंट फाइव चार्ज वेर एज द अनदर वन इज ऑल्सो हैविंग द पॉजिटिव पॉइंट फाइव चार्ज एंड वन सिंगल ऑक्सीजन इज हैविंग माइनस वन चार्ज ओके डेल बी नाउ डायलेक्ट्रिक कॉन्स्टेंट हियर बेसिकली डायलेक्ट्रिक कॉन्स्टेंट इज हाउ इजिली अ मटीरियल हाउ इजिली ए मटीरियल इज पोलराइज बाय हाउ इजिली ए मटीरियल इज पोलराइज बाय इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड How easily a material is polarized by electric field in relationship with vacuum? In relation with vacuum, if we are dealing with the water, water has eighty times, water has eighty times dielectric constant of vacuum. Water has eighty times dielectric constant of vacuum. Deal with. Now, the different physical chemical properties of water. so the first one first water is basically colorless we have never observed proper color of water and like ultimately like water is not colored so that is the reason like the water is colorless but it can uptake any type of the color okay tell me second is water is odorless water is odorless which means water do not have any kind of smell as well do not have any kind of fragrance as well water do not has any odor now water dissolves everything almost everything water dissolves almost everything that is what we call it as the universal solvent or we should call it as almost universal solvent water exists in three forms okay deal with they are solid liquid and the gas solid liquid and the gas solid form will be called as ice whereas liquid form is called as normal water and the gaseous form is called as the water vapors or we can call them as the clouds as well now it is sticks together to form drops the water molecules they stick together to form drop to reduce the surface tension to reduce the surface tension the best shape ever acquired is none other than the shape of a sphere so that is the reason they stick together to form drops okay now water is tasteless like basically like major three properties are water is colorless odorless and tasteless water do not has a proper taste water do not has a proper taste of its own now it feel wet matlab basically whenever you are dealing with the word it feels wet means whatever you are having and if you are adding water into it the water will be filling the extra portions that is what we call as it feels wet it has distinctive sound like you have observed that the sound of the running water it has a distinctive sound a special sound for itself it can absorb a large amount of heat you have observed like we have already gone through like water's specific heat so it can absorb a large amount of heat and it has a very high boiling point now it is a part of every living organism in the planet basically water is a part of every living organism in the planet earth okay please deal with now here water is a chemical basically in that chemical one molecule of the water is comprised of two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen deal with now the bonds which hold the oxygen and the hydrogen the bond which holds the oxygen and the hydrogen are called as covalent bonds are called as covalent bonds and they are very strong they are very strong and here water plays an important role water plays an important role as a chemical substituent as a chemical substituent here many of the important functions 
will be the first one is what is a very good solvent we can call it as almost a universal solvent which dissolves many solids okay it serves an excellent it serves an excellent cooling agent and it is present in the blood sweat tears it is present in the blood sweat and tears okay deal with now like the blood sweat and tears are nothing but they are all the solutions of water here what is attracted to other water water molecules as well water is attracted to other water molecules as well and the force of attraction between the same molecules is called as cohesion the force of attraction between the same molecules is called as cohesion and the force of attraction between the different molecules is called as adhesion please do remember the force of attraction between the same molecules is the cohesion whereas the force of attraction between the different molecules is called as adhesion okay deal with now water can be also attracted to others as well now here water exist in three different forms water exist in three different forms you have already discussed about this that the clouds are the gaseous ice is the solid and the water normal is the liquid regular water now what are the unique properties of water here if i'll be dealing with the unique properties of the water will be it has a weird nature it has a weird nature now what does this means so let's discuss the ice like which means the, like the solid shape or the like the solid state of water floats the solid state of water is the solid state of water is less denser the solid state of water is less denser than the liquid state the solid state of water is less denser than the liquid state here the usual solid state the usual solid state of most molecules the usual solid state of most molecules are much denser the usual solid state of most molecules are much denser than the liquid state than the liquid state but basically water is showing you the weird nature so ultimately ultimately its solid state is less dense than the liquid its solid state is less dense than the liquid now water as a universal solvent so basically a partial charge a partial charge that develops across the water molecule that develops across the water molecules helps the water making as excellent solution i'm sorry as excellent solvent how come let's check it out water dissolves many substances water dissolves many substances by surrounding charged particles of cooling them okay basically water dissolves many substances by surrounding charged particles and cooling them into the solution cooling them into the solution you will be checking out about the table salt that is called as a sodium chloride nacl is ionic substance which means it has charges okay is ionic substance that contains sodium and chloride in the similar fashion sodium and chloride in the similar fashion any substance that causes any substance that carry the charge can dissolve in the water any charged substance will be dissolved in the water so basically the nacl will be divided into sodium as a positive ion whereas the chloride as the negative ion okay cation and an an ion deal with now here so basically this also explains that this also explains that why some substances why some substances do not dissolve in water why some substances do not dissolve in water because they do not have any charge basically example is none other than the hydrophobe called as oil because there is no charge on oil so it is not attracted to the water molecules and therefore it do not dissolves here like i have gone for the diagrammatic representation of how the sodium chloride is dissolved in the water here you can observe that one sodium molecule 
is surrounded by the four water molecules and the same fashion here one chloride molecule is surrounded by the four different water molecules here one two three and four this is the case okay now this is none other than nacl in the water which means like the ion ions has been have been separated and the sodium is having the positive charge whereas the chloride is having the negative charge so this all about was about the chemistry of water or the basic introductory portion of the biochemistry lecture series okay done hopefully these lectures have been beneficial for you thank you guys thank you very much for your so much support thank you